we look at about the ren 22 now uh, you are coming to the useful point for the throat diseases hoarseness of voice and swallowing issues useful for the paxia as well relieves the pain in the upper chest so where exactly uh, the point is located you understand this is the suprasternal fossa right so this is the uh, media sternum from the media sternum above you can find this is the supra supra means is superior sternal sternal is the sternum is the fossa fossa is the hollow so therefore at the point phytun above from the tip of the supra sternum this point is located on the fossa when you understand you this point to be treatable for the various condition related to the especially for the throat related issues the larynx related conditions can be treatable by activating this point in fact the voice box or the wind box or the wind pipe conditions can be treatable for instance the singers or the maybe teachers or professors who continuously speech for the several hours in a day and then every day the teaching professionals are there every day the talking professionals are there even that condition you wanted to apply the needle on this particular region certainly you can insert the needle this should be very caution to be taken place but you should not damage to the internally trachea the posterior trachea the posterior side of the sternal trachea you you will damage this if you just activate in the wrong direction but however this point is is not recommended much but the good experienced practitioners you can use this point ren 22 in the downwards direction and which is one tune to 1.5 tune that can go deeper level but in the beginning stage certainly you should not use the needle but the alternative to this ren 22 the called as a tiantu that point is ren 17 shenzong point that point can be treatable by activating uh, a supplementary point rather than ren 22 having the same effect like a ren 20 ren 17 point certainly you can activate rather than this this point is always is good still you wanted to use if sometimes you could not uh, apply the needle even ask them to give the pressure to this particular region where the wind box to open where the hoarseness of the voice is there where we call as a there is no voice or the tonsillitis conditions such a condition certainly you just apply the needle to open in the some authors they have believed that within 30 seconds it open the voice or it clears the voice or sometimes it takes more time to clear the voice if keep continuously activating this point always is good for all the respiratory related issues <coughs> Then there are the two points are remaining, but uh, here you can see the both are very important. But REN 23 point is known as a Lian Chuan. So this point is midway between the mandible region, chin of the mandible and then hyoid bone is the center. This point is located, right? So when you look at about the, this is the mandible and this is the uh, thyroid cartilage in the, this is the hyoid bone, right? Superior part of the hyoid bone where we called in fact from here to here the central line central point of the body which we called as a REN23 in fact this point is insert the needle how to insert the needle you should not insert on the downwards direction always you remember this should be insert the needle upward direction towards the root of the vertex of the head when you wanted to apply the needle upward direction you just apply in this direction don't apply in the you know small level you just apply deeper level one tune can go deep that you understand towards the du20 point right so therefore once you activate this point is used to treat for the sublingual glands disorders when gl sublingual glands which is essential for the which is essential for the secretion of the saliva also where there is the dryness of the mouth is there and other conditions which is excessive secretion of the saliva both the conditions can be treatable when you look at about the there are the this point is treatable for the there are the two nerves which we call as a hypoglossal nerve and then the glossopharyngeal nerve both the nerves you are activating by using this point when you activate this certainly you can see the results of the apaxia apraxia or the which we call as a stammering the voice related conditions or the you know stammering conditions the hemiplegia due to that the patient could not able to speak even that condition you can use this point you know so there are the two points supplementary points i wanted to tell you for all the speech related conditions those points to be called as a 
the another point is known as a one chun lateral to the right side one chun lateral to the left side you can activate this point is always is good so you understand the point is one chun lateral to the lian chuan that is ren 23 point right bilateral you can activate this point apart from this you wanted to treat for the sensory apaxia and then motor apaxia there are the two conditions where you can find the hemiplegia condition the patient could not able to speak even that condition condition you can activate the point known as a Broca's area which is located in the anterior region of the hypothalamus where exactly on the lateral in the lower portion of the temporal region in the lateral or the proximal region of the you know frontal region where you can find the Broca's area is can be treatable by activating this point to treat for the apaxia condition where the vernix area to be treatable for the sensory apaxia conditions where exactly the proximal to the ear conditions where this this point to be treatable for the vernix area for the speech disorders at the same time you wanted to treat for this speech conditions i wanted to tell you there are the another four points that those points called as a chin chin u a chin chin j i n j i n there are the two points are existing that point is called as a the under the under the tongue there are the veins are located when you look at open your tongue uh, you just take the tongue upward direction so there are the two veins are there blue color veins are there if there is the left side you just activate that point is called as a chin chin then you activate the right side the below the tongue the veins that point called as a ua right there are the another point which we call as a midway between there is two chin chin ua point in the central point that point also located that also is the uh, hua chuan that point is located in the center of the you know ferulanum of the you know upper you know tongue that point also good when you wanted to treat for the another point at the top of the center of the tongue that point is called as a q chuan so that point is the tip of the not on the tip of the tongue on the center of the tongue you just open insert the needle on the center of the tongue even this all our points are really good to treat for the speech related diseases of course there is the spleen also essential to treat for the tongue and the cardiac system the heart also is a mirror of the tongue when you want it to treat even uh, there are the points called as a in si tung li this point also always is good h6 and then h5 the luo connecting point of the you know heart even that points also good at the same time you want it to use as the local point of course the hegu is the li4 is the distal point for all the sensory organs in our body so incorporated all these points certainly there is a recovery when you wanted to treat for the broca's area just inserting is not quite enough there are the as per this call acupuncture every each minute is at least 200 times you need to do the stimulation manually so that have the desirable effect to treat for all the motor functions or the apaxia related you know speech conditions right when we look at about the ren 24 this point is located midway between the upper lip and then in the chin right which we call as the the uh, lower mandible from here to here the center point is below the mentolabial groove or on the chin or below the lower lip the point is located right so this point is treatable for the various condition related to the speech conditions as well as is the mouth related issues at the same time you wanted to use this point for the facial now facial nerve is supplies to this particular region so therefore the facial now means there is the which we call as a mandibular now maxillary now you know ophthalmic now so these are the nerves which passes through the facial region even that condition also patient is feeling that the jaw related condition or the lower teeth pain condition certainly you can activate this activate to the tongue also this activate to the you know the teeth related issues as well and gums deficiency bleeding of the gums pyoria even that condition also can be used by activating this point right this is not the last point of course it is the lot of least point as well right